What a way to start on Friday evening. You know what time it is. It's 9 p.m. It is time for the late night celebrity show. Like you heard in the song, Forget About the Nkoso. Ha, and entertainment. No, we take you closer and bring you closer to your superstars. And tonight, I have a diva in the studio. Mm, 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 mm. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Foster Romanus, and you can join me on WhatsApp. It's 0202222054. Now, I told you, forget the Nkoso. Do the rest. We are the best. This is your world of quality entertainment, ETV Ghana. And now, my guest. My guest is Ghanaian born, but not Ghanaian state. She has gone far and wide. And you heard her singing about Kose. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my guest is in the person of Whitney D. You know, like. Her name actually is elongated, and then in the song she says, I like your long, 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 ting, 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 ting. You like long things, my own. <laughs> That's why your name cries long. It's not that long. It's a, the D is long, it's an ending. Uh, D. I feel like it's a nickname, so it's short. Oh, which yeah. one? Whitney D. The D. Yeah. It's not short, though. Keep it like, say. Whitney D. D. No, you see me, I shortened it. You because, know, you, you because, you know, it. <laughs> because you know when you elongate it, we're going to say, ah, that, that's, that, there we go. That's why you are trying to shorten it. Okay. But naturally, naturally, without shortening it, mm. pronounce your name. Whitney D. <laughs> 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 so Whitney D is my, okay, how did you say so I say it to you? Whitney D. Whitney, even the knee, you, you elongated that one too. No, Whitney D. Is he Whitney? Whitney D. Me, D. We are just. <laughs> right, so join us on WhatsApp is 020 She's my guest tonight, and they're a very brothel. You know what I'm saying? Pardon, pardon. Switch, 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 come to me. Don't go there. We dare you. So, yeah. so on Facebook, it's www.facebook.com slash ETV Ghana on Facebook. You're live, share the link, tell a friend to tell a friend that the diva is in the studio to tell us more about herself and her music. So you're welcome. Thank you. How have you been? I've been great. Mm. I've actually enjoyed, been enjoying my stay. Okay, how long have you been in Ghana? I'll say about three weeks now. Three weeks now. Almost four weeks. What, what are some of the exciting things you've done? Um... I just been on a media tour. I haven't really gone out. To you not really gone out to. No, just wake up and go. Your year, your year, your day, your day, yeah. and that's all. Yeah. When are you gonna start having fun, like? Um, when I reach the top. Okay. Oh, I'll I like that. Mmm, <laughs> that's deep. That's deep. When you reach the top, yeah, um, then I'll oh, have nice fun. one, nice one. Any which way. So, how long have you been out of Ghana? Mmm. 2014, how long ago was that? So that was like seven years ago. Yeah, what has okay. changed since you left? Um, I'll say more buildings. Mm -hmm. So when you're living, <laughs> there were bushes here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, certain areas, but it's been more... More development. Huh? Yeah, mm. more development. Were you expecting that? Um, I was, but not as much as I saw. So, oh, so we actually beat you. Yeah. Expectation. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then what else has changed? Like, I see that you guys have KFC and Burger King. And you know, so I was happy. We about global. That. We global. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. We global. We global. We actually, we're yet to have McDonald's too here, you know. I'm buying the franchise. Like. Okay. okay. <laughs> Just let me know. Call me what, what about the music? Um, the music, you guys are, are going slowly. Is it, is it better? As compared to when you left, or you feel it was better back then? I feel like it's kind of the same. It's the same. It hasn't yeah. really changed. It hasn't really gone anywhere. Mm. That's what I feel. What, what, what makes you say that? In terms of, if you say um, anywhere. I'll say because when we go, um, when we are abroad, America, and they ask about... Ghan, you tell them Ga about Ghanaian music, they instantly pull up like Nigerian yes, okay. songs. So it's like, dang, like, what is going on? Mm. Why are people thinking Nigerian Ghana, music okay. is Ghanaian music when Whoa. it's different? I feel it's different. 
Wow, that's 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 really yeah. bad. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, is that why you decide to, you know, yeah, I gotta do change something. the narrative? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That, 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 that's that's nice. That's nice. So this is your first song? Um, no, I actually have my Jorle featuring Ryzen I released last year, August, and that won two nominations in the Ghana Music Awards USA. Oh, yeah. so this is your second official song? Yes. Wow. Song. How long ago since you released it? Um, I just released it this, well, this is a new month, uh, September. Oh, September. Whoa. Like, I think September 10th, I released it. And uh, how's the response been like? It's been great. Mm. Were you expecting? No, no. You were not? No. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> I don't know. I, was, I wasn't expecting what I'm getting. And, like, everybody is, like, embraced it and i'm just vibe. like uh, i love it but the visuals is very good the, so the visual is very yes. good yes yeah. Yeah, the picture the concept very yeah. nice and the, so the song too I, is nice i want to i want to maintain that the mm. visual high standards of the visual high standards of the music content so i don't want to oh, go back okay. down okay so what would be what would be your style um, or what's your style I'll say a little bit of American mixed in with African. Mm. So you like say American, is it African American pop or American African soul or? African American pop. <laughs> <laughs> pop. Like okay, I like that. So African American pop. Yeah. Are you promoting it there too? How's the response there? Um, I'm, I'm not there, so. But I am getting love from my family, friends, supporters mm. there too. So I'm not there to actually be doing more stuff. But yeah. Okay. So let's pause for a quick commercial break. And when I come back, mm, we will start the conversation proper. Stay tuned. You're a superstar. So with me right there with a cover of Maserati. And she says it's like her first, first, first ever. This is when she felt God telling her, Go and do music. Oh, no. Go and do music. <laughs> Am I lying? No, I no. I've always had music in my mouth since age fourteen. Age well, fourteen. Well, I started at age eight. Started recording at age fourteen. You started recording. Started singing at age eight. Yeah. And then you record. Started recording at fifteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. So you always wanted to do music. Yeah. Why music? I don't know. It's where I feel more free. I would say. Mm where i can let it's everything crazy, go is it is it like you you come from a family with a background in music actually i do Ooh. my mom writes music and she sung in the choir and then her mom also sung too mm. so it's in the family so let's say your mom is a choirist that did it in church write songs for god what Not, happened you said what happened yeah you she didn't get this love. the support Okay, mm. but you are not doing gospel because then uh, one will say because your mom is a choir star singing for God and all. Mm. My mom is a type she believes that you should do what you feel your heart yeah. desires. So. But why don't you want to do gospel? I never said I don't want to do gospel. If you are doing, <laughs> I didn't say. But will you do? Would you want to do gospel? Yeah, if the door opens. The door has opened. Okay, if there's a path given to me and my heart opens up and says, okay, it comes you, you, to you write a, a yeah. gospel song, then you write it. Yeah, and I'll Don't that confuse it. your fans? No, because you're just talking about the love you have for God or whatever mm. the song talks about. Ooh, so there's a possibility. That possibility is there. Which is very low. Uh, I don't know what the percentage is. <laughs> okay, you, you, you give us that percentage. What's the what's the what's the percentage of probability that you would do a gospel song? Well I don't know. Ten? Ten, <laughs> ten. ten percent. Five That's like ten. a title. That's ten. like title. Ten, five. I don't know. It, it can be lower. Five percent. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's like no, no, no chance. No, it's still a chance. Mm -hmm. I didn't well, say zero. Zero is a no, no chance. Right? Okay, zero means no chance. So five is like, 
Yeah. yeah. That's small. I might just bust out. You with know, the say, praise G. Said yeah. <laughs> so we are still, you're still watching ETV. This is a late night celebrity show. We need these, my guests. If you're just joining us, you're on Facebook. It's ETV Ghana. On WhatsApp, you can send me a WhatsApp 02022. Two two zero five four. Let's talk about music and Ghanaian music. You were talking about the fact that um, you feel it's been the same um, since you left, etc. I mean, you've been in the states. You know what's going on. What do you think we are doing that we are not doing? Well, as far as Nigerians, no. As far as people? Ghana music is concerned, the fact that you've been exposed to the international market, like mm -hmm. in the states. What are they doing in the States that's helping their music industry that we are not doing here? Mm, I feel like the resources over there are more mm. available to them as far as the scenery and the technology. I feel like they're able to go out, share their stuff more. That's what I feel. Okay. So that's said you do record this one there or here? I recorded it back in the U.S. with um, Freddie X. Mm. That's who he actually mentored me from oh. age 14 up until. Oh, okay, so you're still with him? No, I've actually parted ways with the label, but yeah, that's who actually mentored me and introduced me to music. Yeah. Okay, so that means they are not going to record here. That There's also 5% mm -hmm. probability. No, that one's 100%. <laughs> I'm open to record to in Ghana. So, so who, who who are your. You know, who do you listen to Ghana music? Um, I listen to Kwame Eugene, mm. listen to Kiddy, mm. I listen is. to Adina, I mm. listen to Ifia, mm. I listen to everybody. <laughs> 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 and and who amongst them inspires you? Um, no. I would say Adina. Adina, I uh, her style and her her style just her style and the way she flows what is her? I don't know she just the way she flows mm -hmm. so just the way she was she flows <laughs> it's like it's not forced so okay okay and then internationally who um, inspires you I would say Tony Braxton who uh, Tony Braxton I used to I used to yeah. sing I used to sing your songs especially um, Break My Heart that's one of my Say favorites on me. Oh, I used no. to sing it, I told you. Oh, that's not. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Is that. Oh. Uh, unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. Mm. Undo mm. this hurt that you caused when you walked out the door and walked out of my life. Mm. And cried this tears. You see? <laughs> I told you. I told you. I, did, I knew one or two. I used to sing a song, Pa. Okay. It was like I thought I was romantic and no, uh, I was no, what flying, are you? you know, like, I was standing in front of the mirror and like, you know, like, look at my six packs. I used to have six packs then. Okay. It wasn't from the gym though. Okay. It was anger. So <laughs> I would just stand there, look at my hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so in terms of your writing, how are you inspired to write? What inspires you? Mm. Uh, anything, I would say anything. If I watch a movie with maybe the husband is beating the womb, that can inspire me. I see somebody in the marketplace, uh, that can inspire me. It just depends mm. on what. So, the one I you did with um, Choir Master, mm -hmm. you're saying forget them, because you know, is that an experience? <coughs> no, actually, that is not my experience. Um. <coughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Choir master mm -hmm. wrote that song. Okay, so he wrote that he song. would have to ask. So I have to ask him. Yeah, ask But then you personalized it, right? What? You personalized the song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the so. Girls have felt, been in a position where they felt like their special someone should yeah, forget boss. about Have you had the such an girls? experience before? Uh, when yeah, told you told you at the boss and then you realized that you're not the boss after all. Yeah, in the past, because women are always the boss. So I'm going to... Come again with that one. Women are always the boss. Women are always the boss. Yes. Yeah. So why then do they call themselves side chick? If they are the Who? boss. Women? Uh, I don't know. Those ones, I don't know. Don't <laughs> I'm not part of But them. they are also the part of the bosses, or they are not? No. They are not part of them, or they are not women. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know all of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I mean, that's what you're saying, right? Mm. So, I mean, are you going to use any experience to mm-hmm. of yours? Mm, definitely. Which, which one again? Um, I don't know, heartbreak, happy moments. Heartbreak? Um, what happened? What happened? I'm interested um, in the heartbreak. You want to hear a yeah, story? Yeah, what happened? Um, okay. He took... Okay, so it was like two weeks before. In America, we have something called prom. Okay. And yeah, we so see it in movies. So yeah. We, um, so we um, we dated from the beginning of my senior year all the way up to the end. And it was time to prepare for prom. And he went for my best friend, like someone who is my best friend. I, I didn't even know nothing was going on. Two weeks before prom, he went with her. Ooh. And I ended up going to prom with her, and I was alone. So you prom. didn't have a date? Ooh. Actually, I had a date, but it was my ex. I had to ex my ex. So your ex became your date? Yeah, I didn't really did not want to go with my <laughs> ex. I was just like, this is a last minute thing. thing. But at least you called him. Yeah. And he accepted. Yeah. And what happened mm-hmm. afterwards? Nothing, nothing happened after. You didn't reconnect, no. you know, revive and, you know, I pray like, probably you could tell him you I didn't even want to go to prom with him, so I just went home. Nothing happened. So after that, nothing happened, you didn't reconcile. Well, there's nothing to reconcile, it's an ex. Baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that's, that's a very sad incident. There. So are you going to write a song with that? Yeah, I can. Mm. Yeah. That are you? Maybe. What would you not sing about? Uh, what would I not sing about? That's a good question. I have to think longer. <laughs> what would I not sing about? Hmm. I don't know. That's a good You don't thing. know? I don't know what I wouldn't. You sing about everything, anything? I think so. I mean, I wouldn't sing about anything disgusting. I don't mm-hmm. think. So you wouldn't sing about something? No, like, I don't know, like, okay, I wouldn't sing about girls being trashy, like promoting girls being trashy. I always... I said forgetting Gosun. Yeah, forget them, but I wouldn't but promote... the guy to forget. The girls being trashy of, mm. themselves in songs, so... Oh, okay. Mm. 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 Down here in Ghana, I mean, yeah, three weeks now, Seeing the music, you're seeing that you feel there's more room. Um, what 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 would you advise can be done to help? Like you said, the fact that when you mention Ghanaian music out there, they go take Nigerian songs instead of Ghanaian song, which means that there is something lacking. What would mm. you advise is done? I would say don't only focus on promoting in Ghana, like. Mm. Um, travel to other African countries and promote your songs, which I see happening. So I would say actually try to go to other places if it's possible oh, and okay. connect with your fans in different places. Do you feel they are not doing that? No, I see them. They've started to do that now. So oh, okay. All right. So pausing for another commercial break, I'm still here with Whitney. D. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> you're a superstar. Right, so you're still watching the late night celebrity show on ETV Ghana. The conversation is still ongoing though. <laughs> I just heard something like, yeah, she's still cleaning. Yeah, so if you just joined us, send me a WhatsApp message on 020 He said that. <laughs> And yes, we're live on Facebook as well. So, um, so what's up? Are you are you um, working on releasing an EP, an album? Uh, yes, I'm working on a few projects. One single I'm working on, and then something in October. I'll, I'll announce it later at a later date. Okay, so there'll be one other song. Mm-hmm. But we are in October. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> soon, so you soon. have to announce it because you said you announced it in October. I mean, today is the first day actually in October. So, I mean, what better way is it to say it? Uh, maybe something might be dropping this month. 
Yes. As an EP or an album or a single. Single. It will be a single. Is it off an EP or just a normal single? Normal single. So, but then you'll be releasing an EP before the year ends, or that'll be the last song for the year to end. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know yet. You don't know yet? Yeah. Oh, how come? Uh, there's still stuff being decided. So. To what and what are you are you doing? What's what's happening in your camp? Um, single is being prepared. Um, I'm still writing more songs. Um, we're thinking about doing like a little outdooring in December for all the stars to come and I'll showcase all my songs. So that's that's coming on in December. So So um, is your label here or it's up there in the state? Oh no, I have my own label it's now. your own label? Yeah. What's White, the name? White Island Records. White Island. White. Hey. <laughs> white meaning <laughs> uh white island is actually whitney it means okay whitney. so white uh, island records. Mm. So white island music or white island records so mm. white island records mm -hmm. you're done no yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not regular. okay so now let's go back to you let's i mean let's just so, turn the congos in there here and there you no know. what how was it growing up like was that you're old old by then um my growing up i was raised by my grandma for like the first five years of my life mm -hmm. in ghana tema and you ran away oh no i didn't run away i had to go start school abroad. why did you start yeah. My mom wanted it that way. So, yeah, so you ran away and then <laughs> So I went back at age five and then my mom thought I was standing bad somehow at like, like you. I don't think I was. <laughs> <laughs> what said, were you doing? Oh just boys boys <laughs> boyfriend. <laughs> So your mom deported you back then? Uh, at age fourteen, fifteen I came back, stayed here, went to school a little bit. Which school? I was like rush around Montessori school. What what? Rush around. Rush around Montessori. Montessori. Oh, okay. And then I went back just to finish my high school years. Mm -hmm. And so. then right after high school, music started. No, oh. after high school, I went straight into the military. Into the military. Oh wow! <laughs> you. I mean, I started the music because I remember I told you age yeah. 14 I started music. Mm -hmm. But then I was just like, I need a solid foundation if this is what I want to do. I need a solid foundation for my future family yeah. in case this music don't. I didn't go well. So I went into the military. And what happened? Um, I served four years. I was getting about to get my sergeant, but then ran into some... They looked at my health as a priority. It was just back pain, but mm. they were like, we don't want it to get worse, and then you grow old, and now you can't pick up your grandchildren, so let's put your health first. The army's always gonna be there. There's always gonna be more people, mm. so let's put your health first, and Oh, so that's how come you, you retire from the military. What do you miss? Uh, I just miss the brotherhood. Like, if you're laying in dirt, you're not gonna think about laying there because your brother is right next to you talking mm, to you mm. and you don't even think about that you're laying in dirty clothes for two days. Oh, yeah, which which department were you? I was in more like supply logistics. Oh, I did, okay. I handled the ammunition and drove the trucks. You handled ammunition? That's, that's something I really want to do. Eh? Ammunition? And then I pocket like a rifle or you know, an AK-47 or a pistol. Oh, no, you cannot do well, that. I can't pocket it. <laughs> you know, you go straight. So you handled it? Yeah, I handled the... I also did help my sergeant with the weapons, keep mm. account of the weapons, and keep account of the ammunition. So did you ever sing to your, to your colleagues or your... No, they actually they never... They didn't know... They never knew I sung. Why? Because you could have been... I mean, joined the... A uh, band, or you know, performed at most of your camp. But I or? knew my abilities, so I knew um, no, strong. I mean, wasn't there a way of also promoting yourself? No, in the U.S., you know, if you like, if you become a cook in the military or join the band, they look at those jobs like 
the bottom of the mm -hmm. barrel. Like oh, okay. So you didn't want to so. do that because of that. So mm -hmm. will you ever go back? Will I? Mm, I don't think so. Oh, why? I mean, even they, they won't let me go back because they're like, your back is hurt. You can't. I mean, we can give you a how I be. What's your mommy be no? What do you want to hear? You don't have the adverts. Talking about the herbs that can help you with the back pain, the joint pain, the knee pain, etc. Mm, I, I went through all of through. I went through physical therapy. That is a bro for physical <laughs> therapy. Come to Ghana for correct. Ebe punu. Yeah, the name tree be punu. Obe ufi na na. Yeah, no, that thing will be gone. Crap. I mean, uh, I want to work on music full time. So. Do so you want to do music full time? Yeah, full time. So, God has made a way to where I'm back. Mm. And I'm able to focus on it full time. So. Oh, so now it's going to be full time. You go to the military again. Some parts I don't miss. So. Some parts you don't miss. <laughs> what are those parts? Where you getting yelled at, or you gotta wake up at 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. I don't miss. But that's like a drill. I mean, it's to, it's to make you more disciplined. And no, but you, 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 you miss sleep sometimes. So. You, you were never scared at a point? Mm. Uh, no, I wasn't. So, in the training and all, all those vigorous training? I mean, I just told myself. I mean, the one thing I said to myself to keep me going was that you're a badass. Okay. So ah. That's that's what kept mm. kept mm. me going. Mm. Yeah, when bad, it got bad. when it got hard, I just said you're a badass. You're you a can badass. you can do it. You can do it. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So, oh. so are you gonna be doing music here and uh, taking it there or bringing it there and bringing it here? How is it gonna be like? Uh, I'll be doing it here mostly, but I wanted to project upwards. How long are you going to be here? Um, I'm, I've given myself about a year to work full head on on music, and then if it does go well, I'll. So you've been in Ghana yeah. for a year? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's long. Oh. Yeah. I'll come and visit you, okay? okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who are you looking forward to featuring? in your project? Um, I'd say either Adina or Kwame Eugene. So okay, have you already initiated? Mm, not yet, but I will soon. I'm just getting here. So. Mm, I'm sure, I'm, I'm, I mean, so you, you have written, you have how many songs written? Like hundreds and like thousands, so you know which one? Maybe like eight. About or eight more. or more. Yeah. How many do you have recorded? Um, finished? Finished. I'll say about three or four. Mm. So which, one, which one is your favorite? Which one is my favorite? Mm. I'll say for right now, since it's the one I'm like fully working on. Actually, I'm not going to release it. <laughs> I see what you're doing. I see. No. no, I'm just, I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm like, not going to release the name. Just yet. No, I'm just, I'm just, I just want to know like, um, what 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 really makes that song your favorite? I I, I won't say. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. It talks about real life situation. Girls real life situation. Go through. Okay, that girls do go through. Mm -hmm. what, are, what are those life situations? Um, like stuff guys do that annoy girls. What what, what do we do that annoy? You guys stay you out late. You don't call. You have us worrying. We don't know what you're doing. Oh, but that one they be normal. If boy go out, so yeah, out. it's everyday things that. If boy stay out, I mean for long. But at least call and say what I'm staying out. I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but right. you, you know that he will stay out and he will be long. Like so, you should uh, you should adjust, Anna. <laughs> no adjustment. <laughs> so that's what the, the song. Um, that's what the song is about. Mm -hmm. no. I'm not to say the name yet. <laughs> no, I mean, as for the name, they can even change when you are recording. Uh, yeah. So you're doing it alone or you'll be featuring somebody on it? Mm, for now, I'm, I want to do it alone, but we don't know that might change. You see, so a lot, a lot might change. Even yeah. the title might change. <laughs> 
You get it. Yeah. yeah. So what's the title? <laughs> <laughs> no. Right. I'll be right back after this, and then I'll open the phone line so you can talk to my guest, Whitney D. Stay tuned. You're a superstar. So this is a show that brings you so close, 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 and closer to your superstars. Like I have one superstar, super, superstar here in the studio, Whitney D. Let me activate the phone line, 055-565-7278. You can call me right now, 055-565-7278. 055-565-7278 and talk to Whitney D. This segment is brought to you by Adonko Bitters. And Adonko is saying that just take I don't call it test to help you in your digestion. One, it's made of herbs, you know, so it's actually also boosting your immune system, especially. And this is a time that we are in. You need to boost your immune system. As you are boosting your immune system, you're also boosting your performance level. You know, the upper room, let's see that. Yeah, so it gives you strength to do extra. And then those who work hard, to, it helps you Relax at your jaw, or at your jaw, junk, junk, no medium. So grab yourself and I don't go be test tonight. There's no hangover, no hangover. Just drink. I don't go. I don't go. Bitters. I say, I get bitters in two minutes. I have buy warm. Everybody, you need some for your back pain. Okay. It will help your back pain. Okay. Oh, it's I'll true. definitely try. Just try and test it. Just two shots of I don't go. Okay. What do you say? I have a call on the line. Hello. Hello. Wow, I like your voice. It's very deep. Good evening. Good, good evening. Good evening. Sir, what's your name and where are you calling me from? My name is Steven. I'm calling from East Lagos. Ah, Steven, the East Lagos. Ah, I'm coming from. All right, so please go ahead and talk to Whitney. Oh, well, well. Um, I love her music, trust me. And I'm just wishing her the best. Mm. I know she's gonna f go far. I I just wish her the best. Hello, see that? Hi. Yeah, you look so clean and juicy. Trust me. <laughs> Thank you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's we true. got your back, okay? I'm gonna. I mean, like your videos and stream it. Okay. okay. Thank yeah. you. Thank All you. Yeah. All right. For Enjoy your night. You say right. she looks what? Succulent and juicy. I know you're bad then. Now I see. Eh? <laughs> As I see, she's, she's having spices. Can't you see? Mm. You check, check, see for yourself. Down. Her looks. Can't you see? Oh, yeah, she's pretty. She's mm -hmm. very pretty. Mm. Uh -huh. As of now, my, my temperature is rising. And now, Thank you very much for calling. <laughs> 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 okay, oh. thank you there for the call. You can also call me 055. Five six five seven two seven eight. I just got Stephen Barton that calling. You said you're looking juicy. Like which fruit juice is that? Mango. Oh, you are mango juice. Mm. So mango is your favorite fruit, eh? Oh, mango is good for you. So good for me. Mm. <laughs> I'm allergic to mango actually. Oh. When I eat mango, I get hyper. Okay. Yeah, it's bad for me. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. So. But I don't mind the juice though. Okay. <laughs> Zero five 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 six five seven two seven. I have another call on the line. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Good evening. Your name and where you're calling from? Hey, because and why your voice deep warm? Huh? Yeah. Good evening. Yeah, I'm calling from. My name is Alexander. You're calling from where? In Sawam. In Sawam. Okay. And your name is. My name is Alexander. Alexander, go ahead and talk to Whitney. No, uh, this my today is my first day watching your program, but I love it. Oh, thank you very much for. But that. I want you to tell her, our sister. I'm proud of her. Okay. Okay. She'll hear that. She's, She's here. She's very pretty, you know. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, but you, you know, let me tell you, I've, I've been living in Brazil for almost about twenty-five years. I just arrived from. South America, Sao Paulo. Wow, wow. You're welcome. So in Sao Paulo, they say, Você é muito linda. Muito linda. Muito linda. Mm, yeah, oui. Muito linda. Muito, muito what? Muito linda. Muito linda. I-N-D-A. Okay, muito linda. That's your pretty, yeah. right? 
That have Brazil people say, muito linda. Muito linda. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. that's L-I-N-D-A. Okay, muito so, linda. Oh, muito linda. I lost muito linda <laughs> right there. We've lost muito. So, muito linda. Do yeah, you say oh, Josui? Like, that's a response. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I'll our time is up. So, I mean, your final message, your social media <coughs> handles, and um, um, I want to thank you for having you're me. You're welcome. And I want to thank everybody that's watching tonight mm. and the supporters. Shout out to Dan Larte. And oh, our own Dan Larte. Uh, <laughs> Emperor. <laughs> Okay, so and I mean social media. Social media, TikTok is Whitney D official, hmm. and then Instagram Whitney D official as well, and then Facebook is Whitney D. So okay, and then all the songs are on the platforms. Mm -hmm. Music. YouTube, YouTube, Apple, Audio Mac, Amazon. So okay, my name is Foster Romanus. Up next is in bed with. I drink until I come your way again. Motu Linda. <laughs>